What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Tomorrow, and today I have a gear review on the Boon Sport BGV BR training gloves. Alright folks, as always, I am incredibly excited to bring you yet another gear review as today I have the Boon Sport BGV BR training gloves and I'm excited to do this review because a lot of people in the comments say that they like my Muay Thai glove reviews because a lot of people that have reviewed Muay Thai gloves on YouTube, uh, you know, are more boxers that don't understand the mechanics behind, say, a Muay Thai glove, which to what I say is yes and no, and it's primarily because Muay Thai gloves are uniquely different than, in their minute differences, but uniquely different than a Western style boxing glove, because, I mean, we can just basically say it, is that Western boxing is all you do is basically punch stuff, and that's it. So those gloves are designed for one thing, protect your hands, and that's about it. Whereas these gloves are designed to open and close easily, so you can catch kicks, so you can catch feet, you can clinch easy, they're good good for elbows and stuff like that. They're shorter on the wrist cuff to promote more grip uh, and everything like that. But that's when brands like Boon Sport come and they basically do the best of both worlds. Cause I see a lot of actual boxers that use Boon as well as, uh, you know, like Booster, a lot of kickboxers and like Dutch uh, style kickboxing use Boon, Booster, uh, you know, some twins gloves are really used by a lot of different boxers as well. But at the end of the day, Boon Sport is a brand that's been around since 2002, and they really pride themselves on, uh, you know, making really good gear. And I actually love what they say on the website is that we don't look for fancy, flashy stuff. Uh, you know, that have flames on them, which I think is a direct jab towards twins, to be honest. Um, but basically, they said they make good gear that's going to last a long time, that's been used by guys like Bukala at a couple points, Liam Harrison, and a couple other guys. I think even Nikki Holtzkin used uh, Boon Sport for a while. Uh, same thing for John Wayne Parr. Boon Sport is a very, very large brand. They've been around for a while, since 2002, like I said, so a little over 20 years. They've been around for about 21 years, and they're still going strong. One one of the bigger brands out there and like i said for a thai brand i think they bridge the gap between muay thai and western style boxing really really well especially with gloves like these now to basically tell you real quick before i go into the model i have which basically is telling you the model i have these are the bgv br now you might be confused if you go on the website and see bgv p or bgv r bgv b whatever it might be guys the last letters in that stand for the color that it is so bgv i used to think stood for boxing glove version it's actually boxing glove velcro is what they mean in thai and you see brands like fairtex and twins dacia uh yokow all those things they say bgv boxing glove velcro they would have bg L, which would be boxing glove lace, and then then the color being BR standing for brown, the first two letters of the brown. So if you see what the last initial on any of those would be, you know, they have tons of colors from pink, red, blue, you know, brown, black, anything like that. That's basically what it is telling you on the website. Uh, that's the model that you're getting. You know, it could be BGV SG for C green for all you know. You know what I mean? That's basically the idea. So don't get confused. It's the same glove build. It's the same thing, just a different color. I went with brown because I like the classic uh, looking brown that they got. I'm always a sucker for classic looks. Now the exact model I have, like I said, BGV BR. So it is in the brown color. I got these in 16 ounces, which I believe they go all the way up to 18. I think you can get them from 12, 14, 16, and 18 ounces. I have seen Boon Sport gloves in 18, but they definitely have them in your standard sizes of 12, 14, and 16 ounce gloves. And you can get them in lace-ups. They do have 
lace-up Boone Sport training gloves. I believe they do have them in brown, but I don't think they have as many um, colors in lace-up compared to the Velcro version of the glove itself. But overall, still, you got tons of options to work with. But once again, BGVBR stands for Boxing Glove Velcro Brown Color, okay? So that's basically what you have going on there. It would be like the same thing as Fairtex with BGV1. That's why I thought it was version because it's boxing glove Velcro 1, model number 1. I figured that's what it would be. So it would make sense for version 1. But the V stands for Velcro in tie gloves. Uh, going into the look of the glove, as you can see here, like I said, we got that classic brown look. And I love how that looks. It looks like a very old school brown color all the way throughout the glove. And look how the light just catches that. You do have a black palm going throughout here, uh, which complements the brown really well. But at the end of the day, most of the glove is that nice classic brown. Then you have your Boone Sport logo, which is uh, black with white highlights on the outside. And I don't know what that says in Thai, but I'd have to assume maybe it says Boone or maybe it says Thai. Not too sure, but it has a nice little uh, white uh, Thai marking right there. When we go to the thumb, like I said, you can see that nice brown uh, coloration that we have going throughout the base of the thumb. Even the thumb attachment, which is a nice web thumb attachment, actually, which is also brown all the way throughout there. Towards the fingertips, you also have your nice brown coloration there. The side of the glove is brown until you get to the palm, where it once again says handmade in Thailand leather. As you can see here, that is material that it says it's made of. There's a stamp. And the rest of it is black with white piping, or black with white stitching all the way throughout. And the white stitching complements the black really well in the brown. You do have a thumb uh, piping here that is brown, unlike the black palm. And then you also have your uh, breathe holes throughout the center. Uh, and then you have your grip bar, which is also black. So it complements that really well. When we open the wrist strap, it doesn't say anything down here, but you can see more of that really nice black. And then you get your white piping that goes throughout there, which is a double stitch. And then when we go down here, you have the really cool Boone logo. And I just like that it's a basic color of blue and red highlights, which complement each other really well. And it says Boone. And at the bottom, I'll read what it says. Made in Thailand, www.boonsport.com. And it has your 16 ounce stamp on the outside of the wrist strap as well as you can see there. So it tells you where you can get more of these awesome Boone gloves. And then it also tells you uh, that it is 16 ounces right there on the tag. The rest of the wrist strap though is your natural brown color with uh, a black Velcro strap going on there. And the back is also black. The interior lining, like most gloves out there, is also black and it opens wide so you can see right into it. And it is your basic you know, polyester satin lining that you got going on there. And it feels pretty nice. When we open this up more, you can see that it says Boone Sport. Gives you the website. If I can show you that properly, let me see. There we go. Oh, lost it. Little tiny tag says Boone Sport. And it says handmade in Thailand on the inside as well. And it says made in composition leather. So it tells you what it's made of on the inside there, which I can just tell you right off the bat. I do think they're like windy and that they do make them in synthetic as well. So if you don't like that it's of an anno product, I think you do have some options on the website that are not uh, a leather. Speaking of the leather, let's go into the build of the glove and start out with the hide that we have on the leather itself. And it is a really nice, smooth, soft, supple hide. It is one of the softer leathers that you'll feel on the tie glove. I definitely think it's softer than, say, Fairtex or even softer than Twins. I think it's right about there as far as like Yokao soft leather. And it feels really, really durable as well. And like I said, you got a pretty thick hide going over the entirety of the back of the glove here, uh, which keeps the padding nice and soft as well. Because as I say all the time, the more the hide there is, the less damage that the padding gets because you don't want the padding constantly smushed down by super tight leather that's keeping it in a smooth position doesn't allow the foam to breathe as much which means it will break apart much easier but it does feel super nice on the back of the hand because of that nice leather and it also feels good if you're ever brushing sweat away uh you know you can just feel that softness like on your face and on top of it soft leather usually means that the padding will be a little softer in most cases which makes it a little bit better to spar with also makes it much easier to clean this glove is extremely easy to clean i've had these gloves for about 
almost a year now I'd say I've had them for a little over eight to nine months and the gloves look exactly the same when I got them out and I've been using them a lot actually so the leather all the way throughout the glove on the wrist strap on the palm everything is very easy to clean nice soft supple uh, cowhide leather that you got going throughout the glove which feels really really good now going into the padding of the glove you can actually see just by touching in it is a soft foam and it's softer than say Fairtex. I'd say it's a little bit denser uh, than your Yokos. I say it's a little denser than your Twins but it is soft and it's basically like every other Thai brand that just basically puts on their website that is a three layered foam composition which if I had to guess is two layers of high density soft open cell foams and the idea is it allows the foam to breathe soft enough for your knuckles to be protected soft enough for your partners to be protected on the outside because your initial soft touch here is that nice foam and then when you press in further you can feel a firmer possibly eva foam primarily to protect your knuckles more for bag work and prolong the life of the glove but not being so hard to damage your sparring partner so the padding is all nice and it is for me in my assumption it is all one solid mold that you have going on here because you don't see a stitch separation to separate the thumb which is also that nice soft feel although i will say when you squish in the thumb here you don't feel the EVA foam quite as much, but I will say if you like go on this end, it is a little stiffer on the bottom part of the thumb. But overall, the thumb is really, really soft. Back of the wrist is very, very soft. It feels like it is one solid layer of that three-layered foam that's been glued together, made into one solid mold for the glove that fit into really well. Uh, and I definitely do think that as well, because when I take the wrist strap off, you can see that the stitching here this is actually an overlap stitch so you can see the leather overlaps to the back of the glove so it is what i call a two-part glove basically meaning that it is separate they make the base different from the top and like i said you have that overlap stitch you can see that little bump right here that basically comes right there and what that does is it allows you to make a separate entity for your wrist support and your wrist strap uh, but before I do that, let's finish off with the thumb and talk about that we have that web thumb to keep your thumb in a really nice natural position, but also allow you to open and close very good for your tie clinch, which is always something that's good with a tie glove, obviously. But it also allows you to form it into an easier type of Western style boxing because when you close your fist, it tucks behind unlike some like this isn't like your fairtex bgv1 where it's upwards like this the thumb it's outwards so like a, a a decent um western style boxing glove but it allows you to open out width wise so instead of it being this way it opens out that way so you can still get that easy grip uh when you go into tie clinch and the clinch work in this glove is really well uh, good as well i'll talk about that when i put my hand on the inside but the thumb is nice and webbed so you have a mobility for your thumb so you can definitely get better grips for that so that's a good uh thought on boone's part when we go to the uh palm like I said, you have double lined white stitching going throughout here and the glove does have good breathability because of the holes going throughout there. The glove doesn't overheat that much. And then the piping here isn't tight at all. So you do still have really good, nice thumb mobility because the piping that you see here, the brown piping is not too bad at all there. You also got a lot of padding throughout the palm. The grip bar is pretty soft. It's actually very, very soft, I'd say. Uh, it's kind of like that insulation type foam. It's a high density foam that they put in there. It feels really nice nice uh, and it's nice and soft for me to get a nice good grip and then you have some really nice padding some more uh, of that high density foam it doesn't feel like closed cell foam it feels like your polyfill type foam going throughout here and what that does for me is it allows me to brace my wrist a little bit more so my wrist doesn't go out and on top of it if i get kicked it will protect my arm a little bit so i can prevent breaks and stuff like that and you have that on both sides of the wrist here even on the uh, velcro a little bit if i move this you can see that it is padded there you have a really big like three to four inch wrist strap which is good it promotes good wrist support because it covers the entirety of the back of your hand and it's actually a pretty well balanced glove you know usually when you have gloves that are separate like this you would say that it's top heavy but putting this down it's actually really hard to curve that velcro in and especially going up like i have to put a lot of pressure on that so you'd have to put way more pressure on that to really do that but the wrist support on this because of the girth that you have here of the wrist strap 
feels really good on the back of your wrist, really stabilizes your wrist and wrist mobility as well, and it keeps it nice and comfortable at the end of the day. And the stretch is pretty good. Now it is fixated to this part of the glove so it doesn't like stretch outward, but it stretches enough to where you can fold the leather over. Now the one thing I will say is that there is no like uh, elastic strap to keep it closed, but honestly it folds closed by itself really good so you don't have to worry about it too much as far as that goes. The interior lining like I said is your basic poly lining that you get. It's a little baggy towards the bottom, but it doesn't matter because it kind of hugs to your hand really well. The whole glove itself hugs really well. When I put my hand on the inside, uh, the first thing you notice, like I said, for me, it isn't necessarily tight, that part of the piping on the thumb, because I can open and close my thumb very easy. It feels like it's pushing against my palm a little bit more than my thumb, but it's still not too bad, and opening and closing this glove is very easy though i will say when you first get it out of the box the glove is somewhat stiff and it is a little difficult to open and close this way but it's very easy to just boop like that now i can get good tight clinch good plum going on there that's what i love about these gloves as well when i strap it tight this is where you feel the support right at the back of the wrist it puts me in a natural punch position in fact with this glove you can see it's curved down a little bit in that natural punch position like a western boxing glove would be and it's very good because not only can I open it good for my tie my tie work, my clinch work, my knuckles are lined up good, and especially if you're more of a puncher in Muay Thai, that is a little bit rare, I'd say. You don't see a whole lot of punchers. You see more kicks, knees, and elbows, and sweeps, and dumps, and all those things. Um, but the padding lines up right here and protects my wrist really good. It doesn't like hang down too far. It's right in that good spot. Still good enough to go up, and it stabilizes really well because that foam uh, wedges around the back of my wrist. Feels really nice. The thumb position is really comfortable for me when I'm curving this way. And when I tell you that this is really on, <sighs> okay, it took me a second to get out. When you have hand wraps on, your hand won't move at all. Obviously, my hand's a little sweaty. It's going to slide out from the poly. But at the end of the day, it has really good, and the Velcro is super strong too. It has very good wrist support, and it's going to protect the back of your hand really well because of the composition. Um, I like how that feels, the inside of the hand compartment. Uh, it's not necessarily rough, but there is a part right where your fingers rest over the grip bar, like where this part of the stitching, I'll show you here, like this part of the stitching of the glove on the side kind of rubs against my skin a little raw. But when you have hand wraps on, it, you don't feel it at all. I just feel it now because the hand wraps are off. Uh, but at the end of the day, they feel pretty good. Uh, they're not too stiff. Uh, I wish they did open just a little bit easier. Uh, they open easy enough, and you do have to keep your hand kind of closed a little bit tighter to keep it in a natural punch position. But at the end of the day, some gloves do that, and they do fine. I personally haven't had too much issue with that, but I could definitely see some people maybe getting, you know, their hand might get a little fatigued from having to, you know, squeeze too hard to close it or, or force too hard to open it. So maybe if they just made the padding upward, because where I feel the tension is right up in here maybe make that a little softer or get rid of the eva part down there uh, but overall it feels pretty good there is also some padding towards the uh, tip of the fingers but not a lot so maybe if you go to clinch and you bank like that it might hurt the tip of your fingers a little bit and obviously you can't wrap the tip of your fingers uh, when you compete so I, I would be worried about that or when you spar i would be worried about that uh overall but very comfortable glove so far uh, really well made, really good construction, but let's go into the bag work and then we'll go into my final thoughts. All right, so when it comes to hitting the bag with the Boon Sport training gloves, the first thing you're going to notice is that the foam and the knuckles really give you that solid protection. You can get really good grips with these gloves as well. Uh, but on top of it, they give you really nice feedback because of the dense foam core in the center of the glove. And I really like hitting these. Offer great wrist support as well. Great knuckle padding. Overall, really awesome uh, gloves for the bag uh, and for mitts. Overall, I am a big fan of the Boon Sport gloves. They're also very nice and forward punching. So I think punchers would really enjoy using these gloves for both Muay Thai and boxing. All right, so the first thing you're going to see is that nice Boon Sport logo there. And just the classic brown of the gloves is really cool. And I like the contrast of color on the wrist strap when it comes to the Boon logo in the blue and red. Uh, overall, I think these uh, gloves tell you, just like Boon Sport says on the website, that they don't care about flaming dragons or things like that. They care about the look to be classic and the performance to be excellent. All right, folks, so my final verdict for the Boon Sport BGV BR training gloves is I've really enjoyed using these a lot. You know, Boon Sport is one of those Muay Thai brands that has just 
flown under my radar for a long time and over the last almost year of having these I've enjoyed using them and I think my favorite part about them is just like Boone Sports says on their website that they focus on quality durability and craftsmanship over just the overall look of the glove like i said it is a basic brown muay thai glove brown boxing glove whatever you want to call it and it looks brand new virtually and i've had these for like i said about eight to nine months and i've really enjoyed using them and and i think they're a perfect glove to prove that you can really bridge the gap of a glove that is good for regular kickboxing and muay thai and for regular boxing too because i would put these on any of my boxing friends and i think they'd really enjoy using these especially if you got them a lace-up version of it uh you know which they do have so overall i i'm really impressed with boon sports so far especially the, for the price that you get they are right up there with a lot of other Muay Thai gloves out there. They're about 95 to 100 bucks, depending on where you get them from. I got these from Knock Moy Wholesale, and I want to say I bought them for like 85 to 90 dollars plus shipping and everything from Thailand. Thing total came to like 100 bucks, which for a pair of gloves that is made this well, high quality leather, really good padding, and really comfortable glove overall, I think is a really fair price because a lot of other gloves out there, such as you know, Twins, uh, Yokao you know Fairtex and all your major brands like that are out there uh, these are right up there with them I do agree but there are some things that would change to make the glove just a little tiny bit better there are some things I think that could make this glove just absolutely amazing but granted it would make it absolutely amazing for me and I'd give it an easy 10 out of 10 all day every day but it's not quite there yet and I want to go over First, the things that I like, and then the things that I would change. Talking about the leather is very nice, soft, and supple, which I absolutely love. It feels very similar to like windy style leather. Uh, you know, I definitely think it's softer than say like a combat core style leather, uh, and it's uh, softer than Fairtex leather, I'd say. It's like there with the Yokao and windy style leather. It's very soft, very nice Thai style leather, which I like, and it was tanned very well, and it was put over the padding very well. Decent thickness of hide over the padding the padding is actually really nice the way it feels gives you a good pop off the bag but you can also feel it not only recoil the uh, shock off of your hand and not only shot uh, absorbs that you also have that nice firm eva at the bottom that cradles your hand and it also prolongs the glove because an EVA foam, which is a closed cell foam, is not going to deteriorate as easy as soft spongy uh, foams that are open cell uh, because those are going to breathe in, breathe out, and they can't take that constant pounding compared to that EVA. But what the EVA does is it keeps the softer foams intact here at the base, and it also keeps your knuckles padded at the end of the day. So when these, say, are done being used as an overall you know, training glove, the padding's just gone as far as the uh you know sparring value goes at that point you can still use them for bag work just as well although this glove so far using bags and sparring with these all the time has not changed the composition at all no bubbling really uh there uh, maybe a little bit i think that's more of a design thing but but you can see there might be a little divot right there but I don't know. I think that may be more of a stain than it is a bubble because I can't feel the bubble. And I don't see any on this glove as well. But that is one thing that I would be cautious of is this bubbling of the padding. Make sure you take care of the glove. The leather is doing a really good job of keeping moisture out of the top of the glove. Uh, and then you do, of course, have your breathe holes going throughout here which is fine uh, but at the end of the day just make sure you take your gloves out of your bag let them air out at the end of the day that way no sweat gets into the lining too much and gets into uh, the glove itself to ruin it uh, speaking of the interior lining actually is pretty comfortable and it's a little baggy towards the bottom it is your basic uh, standard poly cotton lining that is nice and soft foamy on the inside uh, but at the end of the day, I won't say it's baggy towards the top because it really isn't. Your hand compartment is really comfortable, but this is where the overall like annoyance of the glove comes. Because when you close it, you have this really awesome wrist support and you have the uh, padding on the back. It's, you know, it's a glove that's split into to maximize your wrist support, maximize your thumb position, maximize your knuckle padding. But the interior lining is really comfortable, doesn't overheat too much, has tons of rooms for hand wraps on the inside. Where it gets annoying though, guys, my point is the finger compartment and the overall stiffness for say a tie glove is a little weird. Uh, it is opening very easy, but I will tell you that I do feel 
unnatural tension like back here near my thumb and near the base of my knuckles when I go to open and when I go to close it, it definitely feels like I have to squeeze it a little bit tighter. It feels like the Cleto Reyes high precision training glove. If you go back and watch my review on that, you see exactly what I'm talking about. Feels like that. It's not terrible. It's not the most annoying thing, but you can see it is just kind of unnaturally just, you know, keeping my hand open a little bit. Most gloves will just stay open because of the mold of the padding itself. But overall, when I close it like this, I do have to squeeze a little bit more. When I open it, I have to put a little bit more pressure upward to keep the glove open like this. And I don't necessarily like that. Uh, that's really the more annoying part because if you're ever doing Muay Thai, you really want to make sure that you're able to just boop, boop that easy for me. I just like that, especially for MMA, like big glove sparring, and that's why maybe my reviews are a little bit different from even the way a Muay Thai guy would review them, right? Um, but I prefer to be able to just open and close my hand, whether I'm in an MMA glove, boxing glove, Thai glove, whatever it is, as easy as I can, whether I be boxing, because boxing, I like to parry a lot and, you know, stop the arms and stuff, and that's what I like to do with these. They do open very well, but I notice I have to strain my hand a little bit more than I like to, especially if my hand's going to be tucked down like this. feels like my fingers have to come up in the hand compartment to really just pop that up as high as it can go um, but overall pretty comfortable great feedback when it comes to punching awesome wrist support as you can see here it's not bad on the back of my wrist at all not bad down here at all it's very good stops my hand from really going in a really bad position as far as my wrist goes excellent wrist support because of that really look how big this wrist strap is big 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 wrist strap i love that i'm always a fan of a big wrist strap and you can even go a little higher with a wrist strap too to stabilize your wrist even more so overall it's a safe glove like i said i just wish the padding maybe allowed me to just open my clothes my hand a little bit more and it didn't make me feel like i'm squeezing to keep a solid fist for too long because especially if you want to give this to a boxer their hand's always going to be in a fist you want something that's easy for them to open and close and sometimes this can be a little annoying to do that but overall very comfortable as far as the hand compartment goes overall of just natural rest position wrist supports absolutely great knuckle padding is really great the thumb supports really nice i really like that webbed uh thumb attachment to allow like good outward and inward opening of the hand overall and I love the leather and the composition of the glove. It's just a very well-made glove. And I can definitely see gloves like these lasting you upwards of three to four years if you take good care of them. Definitely worth a good investment for about a hundred bucks. I think they're right on with that price. I think anything lower would be very good too. If you put these at 80, I think people would just snatch them up like that. But I think a hundred bucks is a really fair price because then you're looking at the same price for like Twins, you know, uh, Fairtex or some other brands out there, Yokao even, you know, some Yokao gloves go for about a hundred bucks or 130 bucks. But overall, I think these gloves are right on the money. I just think that hand compartment is comfortable. I just wish I was able to open and close it a little bit more. Um, but with that said, guys, if I had to give these a review for everyone, I'd give them a solid 8 out of 10. And I want to start doing like a tier thing. I really like people that do those tier reviews, you know, from F, D, uh, C, B, A, and S tier. I definitely give these a solid B or A tier. I think they're very good gloves. Uh, I think they are better than a lot of other tie gloves out there. I think they do a very, very good job of protecting your knuckles and your wrist. Like I said, I just feel like my hand would get fatigued from just trying to forcefully open and close it at all times because it does kind of force it to stay in one spot because of the molding. I think that could be a very easy fix, but at the end of the day, that might just be a me problem, guys. That's why I give them, for me personally, an 8 out of 10, but I think anyone that uses these would really enjoy using this type of tie glove. I think if you're a boxer, you'd actually enjoy using these because of the wrist and knuckle support that they give. I also think that overall, this glove uh, just fits very well for mostly everyone. I actually have a teammate that uses these and I had a lot of different teammates uh, from my past from different gyms uh, use these and they always swore by Boone. They said that Boone was their favorite glove because of how it fit and I've actually seen some different boxers use Boone Sport. But at the end of the day, it's all up to you. Uh, I definitely think the money is worth it. I think 100 bucks is right on for these gloves. I think that's exactly what you're paying for. You're paying for uh, not the logo, you're paying for the craftsmanship. And also Boone Sport has excellent customer service they are very speedy with their responses and they are very adamant that they will get you the best help that you can get when it comes to getting the best glove for your hands as well 
They're really good to talk to uh, throughout your purchase as well. You can get them from a couple of different Muay Thai vendors such as Nak Muay Thai Wholesale or Nak Muay Wholesale. You can also get them from Muay Thai Shop and all those different places online. MSM Fight Shop sells them. I think Super Rare might sell Boone as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can get them right off Boone's website. You just got to wait for them to ship from Thailand through DHL. If you're in the States like me, at the end of the day, you wind up spending about 100 to 120 bucks. So I think that's very well worth the price for a professional level glove. They are definitely a professional level, level glove, not, not beginner, intermediate. I think intermediate guys would like these. Uh, anyone would like these, but they are definitely a professional level glove for me. So with that said, guys, if you have any questions, please comment below or message me on all my social media platforms. I'd really appreciate that. And as always, like and subscribe as well and hit that notification bell for more updates on the channel and for more content. If you have any recommendations, what you want me to review next or have any video ideas in general, let me know above all comment below let me know what you thought about this video i really appreciate it all you guys we're already at five uh, i'm sorry 6.6 thousand subscribers that's absolutely nuts i can't believe it we're growing at such a big rate and it's all because of you so with that said guys thank you for choosing your source for combat sports i've been your host al the postmaster tomorrow and as always i'll see you on the next episode have a great day everybody